What up, chosen vessels? We out here in nature. Everybody, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. All the returning viewers, hit that like button, hit that share button. Thank you for everybody tuning in today to this Drew Tube special where we came to give you more and never lesser. You already know what it is. We in nature, baby. We out here chilling. We out here vibing, getting our aura right, getting our aura cleansed, raising our vibration. It feels so good being out here, man. It's, it's no lie, bro. It's no lie to what nature will do for you, bro. That's why God created this for us to come out here, get these good vibes, get this good energy, and... Let go of all that bullshit. Breathe in some of that good shit and let go of that bullshit. Okay? And with that being said, I want everybody, like I always ask you to do, I need you to watch this video from the beginning to the end of the video so you can get the full effect of what we're trying to do here for you at Drew Tube. Okay? Without that, with with, without, uh, with all that being said, uh, let's get into it, y'all. Today's video is the law of attraction does work as long as the right vibration is sent out, okay? And if you don't know anything about the law of vibration, go check out the first video. This is kind of like a part two, but this is more on the law of attraction with the law of vibration. The first one video was just the law of vibration and how it applies to the law of attraction. This is gonna be a little bit more in depth. This is gonna be just strictly more of law of attraction, even though we're still gonna talk about some law of vibration stuff which go hand in hand. But if you're confused and don't know about the law of vibration and universal law of vibration, go check out uh, my first video, the universal law of vibration and how it applies to your world and how it affects you, okay? This is the law of attraction does work as long as the right vibration is being sent out, all right? As long as the right vibration is being sent out, the law of attraction will indeed work without a doubt, do its job and work for the individual who is currently using it, okay? As long as the right vibration is being sent out, you can attract what you want. This is why I said you may have to go back and watch the Law of Vibration video. Your thoughts and feelings are vibrations. They send out frequencies, all right? The Law of Attraction will work for you and whoever's using it as long as the right vibration is being sent out. You can't say, I am wealthy, I am healthy, and then be thinking thoughts of lack and be speaking thoughts of lack. You can't say I'm healthy and think I'm healthy and be speaking thoughts of ill health. Be saying, oh, my leg don't work or oh, this doesn't work or oh, man, you can't be, if your doctor tells you something negative, I'm not saying that's not a fact. I'm not saying to disregard it, but I, what I'm saying is, is to disregard it as the truth. That's not the truth of you. Sickness is not the truth of you. So like I said, you can't be like, oh, I'm healthy. You can't be thinking I'm healthy and then be speaking ill about your health. Be, be talking ill about your legs or be talking ill about your arm or your neck or your back. Because whatever you speak bad about, that's what you're going to get more of that. It's going, your universe is not going to allow yourself to heal itself. You're going to get more pain. You're going to get more body aches. You're going to get more health issues. So when you speak opposite of what you want, when you think opposite of what you want, you're not sending out the proper vibration. And the law of vibration is not going to work for you the way you want it to. It's going to work, but the law of attraction is not going to work the way you want it because you're not sending out the right vibration. You're going to get what you don't want when you don't send out the right vibration. Whether you know it or not, the law of attraction is working for you. You're just attracting the things that you don't want. That's why you may not have the life that you want because you're focused on the things that you don't want. That's why with these videos, we're renewing your mind and getting you focused on the right things so that you can have the life that you dream of. Okay, isn't that what it's all about? Working towards the life that you dream of, being able to attract the life that you dream of, but you're going to be able, you, you're going to need to feel it, okay? Your emotions and feeling must be aligned with that. Your emotions and feelings must be aligned with the thought that you're sending out, okay? That's how this thing works. You have to be sending out the proper vibration and your emotions and feelings must also be aligned with that vibration, okay? So that way you could be aligned with what you're wishing for. All right? You can't be vibrating on the frequency of lack and trying to cultivate emotions and feelings that align with 
wealth, okay? You can't be trying to get wealthy and your emotions and your feelings don't match up. You can't be trying to be wealthy, but the current uh, you're sending out, the, uh, the vibration you're sending out isn't matching up with your emotions and your feelings, all right? They go hand in hand. You have to fall in love with what you want to reach. That's the vibrational state, all right? That's why you, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life, okay? I love doing this. This isn't work for me. I love this. So when you fall in love with what you want to reach, that's the vibrational state, all right? That's why you're sending out. When you fall in love with it, you're attracting it to you. You're bringing it to you. All right, when you fall in love with the good that you want, you're magnetizing yourself for it. When you fall in love with the things that you desire, when you fall in love with the life that you want, when you fall in love with the career that you want, means that you see it for yourself. You visualize yourself doing it. You see yourself being, doing, and having it. That's when you reach the vibrational state. That's how you fall in love with it. To get what you want, you must feel you are in abundance of wealth. You must feel you deserve to be wealthy. You have to adopt the idea that money grows on trees. I know they told you money doesn't grow on trees, but that's why they told you that. That's why that came off TV. That's an ill, mean-ass program. How money don't grow on trees and it's made of fucking paper. Men, and money grows on trees. And the energy grows off me. Okay? They call it currency for a reason because it's a current. It's a current of energy. That's why you get paid for your time. All right, your time and energy. They gotta. They have to. They have to reciprocate that, and they give it back to you in the form of a piece of paper, in the form of currency of money. All right. You have to. You have to think that you can handle the good that you want. You can't let the money have you. You can't let the good have you. You can't let the success have you. You can't think it's too good for you. Because if you think it's too good for you, you're not going to be able to get it. You have to reprogram your mind about dollar signs. All right? You are rich. You are made of money. Okay? And if you think these things, and if you feel this way, then you'll begin to become a vibrational match for what you want. Okay? You'll become aligned with what you want. You'll be in the vibrational state for what you want. All right? Let's keep this going. Let's continue. Your subconscious mind has been programmed to regard negative broke associations when it comes to obtaining money. You are never broke. You're never broke. If you think you're broke, you're fucking broke, man. That's why it's not good to be around people who think like that, who talk like that. The world mind. I started hearing people at my job start saying stuff like that. Oh, I think I'm broke. I, just, I stay away this. I stay the hell away from those people because you don't want that stuff rubbing off on you. And it's not. It, it, it's deeper than you think when people just say, oh, it rubs off on you. It rubs off on your auroric field. It rubs off on your energetic field. If somebody's thinking a lower vibrational thought and you're thinking a higher vibrational thought, when y'all get into each other's bubble or y'all have to be co-workers or be around each other, you're, you're going to have to fight to keep your vibration high being around them low energetic beings trying to drain you. All right? If your deepest, most inner thoughts are not the same as what it is you are wishing for, then you cannot possibly accept, expect to vibrate on a frequency where you would attract it. Having buku bucks raining on your money trees, okay? Yes, you deserve a trillion dollars. Yes, you deserve the best. You deserve all the money that you're willing to receive. God wants to bless you with all that you're willing to receive, okay? If your deeper, most innermost thoughts are not the same as what you're wishing for, you cannot expect you cannot possibly to expect to vibrate on a frequency to where you would attract it, all right? You can make as much money as you want. You can have the reality that you want if you honestly believe that you are worthy and more than deserving of it, then you can get what you want. When you feel that you're worthy of it, when you feel that you're more deserving of it, okay? Those are the feelings, those are the emotions that are making you a vibrational match for what the fuck you want negative beliefs about what you feel and what you deserve or what you think you're worthy of by far outweigh your desires, your hopes, and your dreams and aspirations. So if you feel you can't acquire what it is that you desire, your can'ts will win every fucking time. If you feel you can't get it, my Nick, if you feel you can't get it, my GCV member, all right, 
You know what I'm saying? It's, it's getting real, y'all. If you feel you can't get it, my GCV member, then you're not going to be able to attract it. If you feel you can't have it, if you feel it's too good for you, if you feel you're not worthy of it, kiss that shit goodbye. And, 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 and have fun seeing all the famous people with it. Have fun seeing the person that you think is better than you, which isn't. Ha uh, have fun seeing them with it. All those people you see with the good that they want, they're not better than you. They don't deserve it more than you. It's just, it's been put in your face. You've been programmed to see other people successful than to see yourself successful, okay? Start seeing yourself successful, man. Negative beliefs out, negative beliefs about what you feel you deserve and what you think you're worthy of by far outweigh your desires, man. Those negative beliefs are gonna uh, weigh, that, weigh that positive thought all the way down. If you feel, if there's something that you want and you gotta have a vibrational thought for it, and you got to be feeling up here, the negative thoughts are going to bring you all the way down here and you're not going to get it. It's like trying to hit, it's like going to the, uh, it's like going to the, um, the fair and hit and doing that, uh, game to win that prize. When you hit the bell, the ding, you only get the prize when the thing is on the rise. Okay. When your faith and your belief and your vibe is on the rise, you get the prize y'all. So if you feel you can't acquire what it is that you desire, like I said, you're not going to get it. Whatever you feel you can't get that's stronger than, than I can get that. I'm going to get that. That's for me. It's cool to say those things, but if you don't feel those things, if you don't program your mind that that's actually for you and that you feel that that's for you, you're not going to get it, uh, my people. All right? You have to think that you are worthy. You have to know that you are worthy. You have to say, I am worthy worthy of my desires i am worthy of obtaining my goals okay you're worthy of that dream house you're worthy of that new car that dream car that rolls royce okay you're worthy of being in a position to help all the people that you want to help all the people that you want to see good you're worthy of that you can make that happen you can make that a reality man okay our blueprint has been programmed your blueprint for your life is your subconscious mind, all right? The blueprint for your life is your subconscious mind. And you have to reprogram your mental blueprint, okay? Our blueprint has been programmed by everything and everyone around us since birth. Just like I said in the Law of a Vibration video. We've been programmed by TV, school, friends, radio, etc., all right? New information is not automatically accepted by the hard drive in your brain. Your brain is a computer. You could, you, if, if, if certain things, if you've been feeling, and if you've been told a certain thing, if you've been taught a certain way how to think your whole life, if you've been taught a certain way how to feel your whole life, it's not just going to be so easy at first. You're going to have to keep reprogramming and keep reprogramming and use the positive thoughts to combat and fight the negative ones all right that's why it's spiritual warfare it's the war within you got people out here trying to force you think force you to think and feel and believe in a certain way which isn't going to get you anywhere because they're used to expecting and accepting the least that life has to offer okay and we're not going to accept that mind state we're not going to accept that. That's not for us. We know that God put us on this earth to raise the consciousness, to raise the vibration, and let everybody know that there's more out there. Instead of just waking up, coming home, going to sleep, watch TV. There's more than that out there. All right? New information is not automatically accepted. You can ask, 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 but nothing will manifest unless your blueprint, unless your subconscious mind is aligned with those desires. And that is the number one reason why people fail using the law of attraction. That's a whole nother video. But you must accept, you must attempt to change your belief systems, okay? All you have to do is just attempt. All you have to do is have the faith of a mustard seed. You must attempt to change your belief systems, okay? This is why I always talk about positive affirmations, by applying positive affirmations, saying speaking what you want to existence that's why life and death is in the tongue that's why jesus said that thou art ensnared by the words of thine own mouth okay you speak life and you speak death the tongue got two edges like a sword all right the tongue is a two-edged sword y'all you must think you can you must attempt to change your belief your belief systems 
by applying positive affirmations which affirm the lifestyle you wish to attract. You have to speak to get what you want. You have to speak it into existence, okay? It's nothing that I haven't already said. You must think that you can in order to actually do it. Why you think they made that book for children? An early program. I think I can. I think I can. Man, when they read that book, to, I still fucking remember being read that book. I think I can. I think I can. Now I know I motherfucking can. All right? You must think you can and are willing and able to be capable of deserving whatever it is you wish to attract. I think I can attract the lifestyle that I want. I think I am deserving of the lifestyle that I want. And I believe that. All right? You must reprogram your mind with a new belief system. That's all. All the things that you've been taught, if it's not helping you, you're going to have to find something new that can help you. All right? That's all it is. It's just reprogramming your mind for better. So that you can get the best out of life, people. All right? In order... For the law of attraction to work for you, you have to adopt the anything is possible mindset, all right? You have to believe that anything is possible. You have to believe that you are rich, doesn't matter what you see, doesn't matter what didn't work out before, doesn't matter what happened, what you're used to. You have to believe that something new can happen. That's the reprogramming your mind. That's the adopting a new vision, adopting a new mindset, okay? You have to believe that you, 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 the person you see in the mirror, you have to believe that you deserve to be rich, all right? You have to believe that you deserve that, all right? I'm giving y'all some extremely powerful game, y'all. You have to, whatever you want, you have to believe you deserve it. You're, you have to feel entitled to it. God wants to give it to you, man. It's yours. You already got it. You have to believe and deserve. You have to believe that you deserve to be happy. You ain't no sad people out here attracting what they want. That's why they sad in the first place. You have to be happy and, and, and vibrating at a high frequency to be able to get what you want, to attract what you want. You have to believe that you deserve to be healthy, man. If you want, if health is for you, if happiness is for you, believe you deserve those things. If you believe you deserve to be healthy, then you better eat that way because you deserve that way. Don't worry about how much money uh, 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 the groceries are going to cost. Buy those, uh, the, if it's more, buy the healthy food. Don't don't worry about how much it costs. God got you. When the universe, when God sees you pushing to be healthy, and when God sees you pushing towards the lifestyle that you want, that means you believe in him. That means you're not worried about what, uh, surra what surroundings say. You're not worried about what the life around you is saying. You know that God could uh, perform a miracle and a blessing at any moment in time. You know that God's got your back. You know the universe got your back out here. How are we different than the birds, okay? Make a list of positive affirmations and read them every day to en enrich yourself and empower yourself and to make the law of attraction really work for you. Make a, lot, a positive list of affirmations and read them every day. Say to yourself only the things that you want yourself to believe in. OK, if you don't want poverty, stop speaking poverty so you won't believe in poverty. No one has to be poor. I don't believe in poverty. I only believe in wealth, man. God put enough resources and riches on this earth for us all. bro. OK, that's a that's a false belief. That's a fake belief. That's the devil. When people say shit is running out, there's not enough. That's the devil, y'all. Say to yourself only the things that you want yourself to believe in. Things I wouldn't mind saying to myself every day. I'm rich. I'm deserving of being rich. I am healthy. I think I am deserving of being healthy. I think I can achieve. I think anything can be achieved by anyone. I think I am great enough to accomplish any, every, and all goals I have set for myself. That's the mindset you got to have. Those are the things you got to be telling yourself.